The Purple Faithful are ready because as the early season goes, few games are bigger than today's Cowboys-Vikings matchup. Hey everybody, Tony Potts here from Access Hollywood at the Access Hollywood Mothership in California, talking Vikings and so much more with my friend Rod, who back in the day, used to call him Rodney. All that coming up. And he's a Hollywood hunk whose heart is here in Minnesota. Josh's new movie and more. It's all ahead. It's game on. And it is game day. It's game on, powered by Acapulco Restaurants. Great to have you with us. Rod Simons, along with, you know what, the big, burly linebacker special team standout for the Vikings, Aaron Henderson in the house How with the doing? Twins hat. Great to have you with us. I, I got my Twins hat on tonight. I didn't want anybody to get mad at me for wearing a New York hat or anything. So uh, I, I made it. that mistake once. I won't do it again. Awesome. This is a big game as games go because the Vikings and the Cowboys, one and three on the season, both teams, huge expectations getting into the year. Stumbled a little bit. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Let's show you the overview right now, what we're talking about. There you see the numbers right in front of you. One and three on the season. Today on Fox, this is the only home game of October. Last time the Vikings tangled with Dallas. You guys gave these guys a serious whooping. In the playoffs too, nonetheless. And that's right, divisional playoffs, 34-3. Brett Favre was amazing, 15-24, 234 yards, four touchdowns. Cowboys offense, though, is a little bit curious this year because they rack it up with 421 yards of offense, but they don't score a lot of points. He is the pride, by the way, of the Maryland Terrapins next to your brother, EJ, so I had to get that out. <laughs> yeah, had a good career there, had a lot of fun out in Maryland. Terps Nation, we're still out here, and I still see you guys doing pretty good this year as well. <laughs> let's, let's break down this Cowboys team. They can rack up the, the yardage. They don't score a lot of points, but when we talk about uh, getting back from the Jets game, what is your guys' biggest concern? Uh, just keep doing what we're doing. Keep plugging away. Everybody take care of themselves and do their job and do their part. And make sure they handle what they need to handle on each and every play. A big thing for us has always been, you know, points. You can give up a lot of yards. You might give up a lot of passing yards, whatever may happen. But you got to keep putting points on the board. And that's the biggest thing in this league is scoring sevens. So we can hold your opponent to three. You can hold them to no points at all. You give yourself a shot. Well, there's a lot of Viking fans in the crowd here. And one of the things that they've been telling us is don't start so slowly. Yeah, we've been getting off to some slow starts. It's been kind of tough for us offensively and defensively, but I think that's something that we're going to work on and, and we're going to tune up and we're going to get going real soon here. Talk about the Brett Favre distraction. Everybody's talking about it outside Winter Park. I was, I've been there numerous times the last couple of weeks. No one seems to be talking about it there. Inside of Winter Park, I wouldn't say it's a distraction at all. I think we all understand that we're all humans and everybody, does, everybody makes mistakes and everybody does things that they're not proud of. Whether he did it or not is, is irrelevant to us, and, and that's his business, and that's something for him and his family to deal with. And I think as long as he comes to work and is able to put that aside and take care of what we need to take care of as far as the Vikings go, we're yeah. all fine with it. One and three, a lot of games to be played, 12 in fact. A lot of teams that look beatable on paper. And I don't see a lot of people hanging their heads uh, during practices last week. We have a tough schedule, and we understood that, and we knew that coming into the season. We knew it was going to be tough for us. Do yeah. we want to get off to a much better start? Of course. You know, everybody wants to get off and start fast and get going, but it's not how you, it's not how you start, but how you finish. So we have a long season, a long road ahead of us. We're all excited. We're all ecstatic, and I think a lot of pieces are going to start to fall into place real soon. Biggest concern of the Dallas Cowboys for you guys? I think it's their, their balance on offense. They have a, a great uh, quarterback and a, a great set of running backs and some receivers that can go make plays for them as well. And so it's going to be tough for us defensively to get out there and, and make sure that we can make them one dimensional and take away the things that they like to do. I think that's what we're looking forward to and what we're trying to do most. Great. More with Aaron in just a moment. We also have a legendary Viking joining us as well. But don't forget, you can join us for the tapings. They're right here, Game On, powered by Acapulco Restaurants. And our next one is Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, at Acapulco in Ramsey. 7 o'clock, Vikings and Packers preview. Oh, my goodness. Food, raffles, and autographs. Don't want to miss it. Game On, powered by Acapulco Restaurants. Join us. We'd love to have you with us. Up next, the legendary Viking is in the house. We'll be breaking it down even more. And you gotta see this. Who's hot and who's cold? You might be surprised by the team we tell you about. It's all next. It's game on. Game on. What do you ladies got there? What is apple pecan chicken salad and a baked potato? A BLT cock and a chili. For one price, you can pick two things. What do you got? This. Oh, only one thing? I have something else. Two at Wendy's. Any half size salad and one of seven tasty options for just $4.99. You know when it's real. 
Everything that goes into a Lennox system is engineered for absolute comfort. Like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity. Or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half off your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Lennox. Innovation never felt so good. Walling, Berg, and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. Yeah, I think uh, Barb coming into the tailgate or coming into the uh, season uh, not ready is, is really hurt. Welcome back. This is Game On, powered by Acapulco Restaurants. Rod Simons, delighted you're with us. Aaron Henderson, you met him just a few minutes ago. You know Greg Coleman, legendary Vikings punter and broadcaster. And when we break this, day, this game down, fellas, we already talked about it here. One and three doesn't scare the Viking, and you kind of have a similar idea. Oh, without question. There, you mentioned, Rod, there's a lot of football to be played. A win today changes the whole, the whole concept yep. of, of the league, the NFC. Um, it was a big game last year uh, against Dallas, playoffs, all of that stuff. But that's over. That's history. Yeah. The most important thing is, is a win today. When we look at this Vikings football team, and I know Aaron feels much the same like most of the players I've talked to over the week, the Randy Moss factor is gigantic. His presence in that locker room has a different feel. I'll ask both of you. Aaron, you can talk about it if you want to. I, I was actually just on Twitter the other day talking about how much I enjoy Randy. I um, was in the sauna with him for about 15 minutes. Yeah. Just talking to him, seemed like a real down to earth, you know, cool guy, laid back, and you know, just a just a great guy to be around. You know, I mean, the things that he talks about about contracts. You know, everybody wants to get paid. We all want to get paid for our services. You want to get paid. You want to be paid like you're supposed to be paid. And I think that's the, that's how people are, and that's how the, the nature of it. So you can't really be upset with him for that. But as far as the locker room presence, I love him already. I enjoy him. I think the way that Randy has come back in and reconnected, number one, with the community, with the team, with the organization, and, and just what he brings, the energy that he brings every time he's on the field. I know there was some discussion about why isn't he on, you know, uh, late in the fourth quarter, you know, right. when, during that important stretch. But the guy was in every play busting his hump. You know, I'm watching him going downfield. So, even Secretariat needed a couple of plays off, right. and that's exactly what they were doing with Randy yeah. Moss because they knew in that final stages they were going to need it. Moss was saying it, it practice just the other day. He's staying late. He's reading the. He's reading his playbook. He's talking to Favre. He's trying to get on the same page with it. And, and, and what people don't understand is you guys spend a lot of time at the office at Winter Park with gigantic playbooks. Yeah, we got some pretty big ones. I actually walked in this morning to see him working out and teaching our, our, our strength training coach some, some different things and different <laughs> techniques that he can maybe use for everybody. So, yeah. you know he's a professional. You know he's going to be in there. He's going to be working and taking care of what he's got to be taking care of. But those playbooks can get pretty big, especially yeah. on the offensive side. Rob, let me tell you this. Go talking ahead. about playbooks, talking with wide receiver coach George Stewart, said that he's been around a lot of great receivers. Right. He has Jerry Rice, T.O., uh, you know, Percy Harvin. He said Randy Moss came in and digested the entire game plan in two days. Randy wasn't guessing about what he needed to do on the field on Monday night. He is without doubt one of one of the smartest football players he has ever been around. You say he's got the easiest job in the world. Greg Camarillo, you know, yep. very near borderline genius. Right. Hank Bowers, you know, smart guy, 3.8. Now with Randy Moss and Percy, he's got the easiest job in the world. It's just a matter of putting it all together, and I think they get it done. This crowd today for the for the Dallas game. Is it really a, that big a deal to you guys to, to have them loud and, and, and making a difference? Do you guys really feed off of that? I really don't think the people understand how much of a difference that crowd makes and, and that noise that goes along with it and the intensity and, and the energy that we're able to feed off of. Right. When you're out there on defense, man, and you're listening to those people just yelling and screaming, it's an amazing thing. Yeah. And it gets your brother boiling like nothing else. So it definitely makes a difference. And you hear them down there right, roaming the sidelines. Oh, with, without question, <laughs> Randy's first game back in the Dome will be off the chain. It'll be something like you've never heard before. You thought it was loud doing playoffs last year? Yeah. Playoffs? <laughs> <laughs> you wait. <laughs> Very good stuff. 
Don't forget now, we're on the web at Game On TV MN. We have updates from the guys, game stuff as well. And don't forget, you can catch my blog at Timberwolves.com. We're also talking NBA here, Timberwolves Post, every Thursday at 11 a.m. Check it out. Drop me a line with your thoughts too. Simon says at Timberwolves.com. Fellas, thanks for being with us. All right. Have Always. fun in the dome thanks today. Stay safe it. and Definitely good. Will. And when we come back, we're going Hollywood here on Game, Game On. on. Game On. <laughs> So, you want to see some Wolves games this year. And you want to make sure to see him. And him. But you don't really want to see them. Now, who's going with? Flying solo? Nah, it's more fun with the whole pack. And where should we sit? Can we move like that? Sure, with the Flex Pack, and we save. Build your pack, your tickets, your seats, your games. Online at Timberwolves.com slash flex. What do you ladies got there? What is apple pecan chicken salad and a baked potato? A BLT cob and a chili. For one price, you can pick two things. What do you got? This. Oh, only one thing? I have something else. Wendy's, any half size salad and one of seven tasty options for just $4.99. You know when it's real. The sun has always powered life. And now it powers our latest innovation to heat and cool your home more efficiently. Introducing the world's only solar powered home energy system, which saves you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. Go green with Liberty Comfort Systems and your neighbors will be green with envy. Get the latest in green technology and save some green. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Rochester, Lapidary Jewelers, if you want to look good. Great style and value, jewelry, gems and stones. We've got everything you need at the Rochester. Receiver and the quarterback have to be on the same page, which I know they're working on right now, so we'll be fine. So you're still on board? Oh yeah, definitely. Welcome back. This is Game On, powered by Acapulco Restaurants. Great to have you with us, Vikings and Cowboys today. And you know, here in Minnesota, we're not the only ones that keep a close eye on the purple. I have proof that they all over, coast to coast, do as well. In fact, in Southern California, they do. My good friend is Tony Potts. He's one of the anchors of Access Hollywood. He joins us to talk a little purple right now. We'll get to football in a second. Tony, you got that great job. What's your favorite part of the job? Yeah, you know, Rod, we've talked about this a couple of times, you and I. I do have a pretty good job. Back in the day, my friends back in sale, they're always like, oh, you travel so much, Tony. You know, I feel bad for you. It's like, don't feel bad for me. I mean, back in the day, they remember me, I used to hot tar roofs in college to pay for college to get through college. Now, I'm very fortunate. I'm very blessed. You know, I fly first class around the world. I have a driver wherever I go, I stay in four-star hotels, and I'm in amazing places uh, with amazing events happening and meeting, for the most part, uh, amazing individuals. I mean, from the Cannes Film Festival to be on location with Hugh Jackman in Prague. I mean, I just go, I've been at this job for 11 years, 11, 12 years, I don't know, it's been a long time. Um, there's so many things from the Oscars being on the red carpet and, and things we've had happen that um, I, I do feel I'm very blessed. There are very few people who have these types of jobs in the United States. Um, Access Hollywood is a great show. It's kind of like our own little sports center, so to speak, because we have fun here. We goof off. We're innovative. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, uh, people are behind the camera making fun of me right now. So there you go. Okay. What's your most memorable Access Hollywood moment or assignment? Hmm. Let's see, the most memorable events. Well, I can remember being with Julia Roberts at a theater uh, in New York City, and she introduced me to her uh, twins, uh, Phineas and Hazel, who I call Faisal. Um, and that was great, just to see her finally as a, as a mother. I'm so proud to show them to me. They're running around the theater in New York City. Uh, that was great. Um, Angelina Jolie in Cannes, I had a moment with her. Just a moment, though. Um, by this back canal behind this hotel. Um, just lovely, just gorgeous, uh, phenomenal. Um, Denzel Washington uh, making fun of me and telling me that I'm old. Because here's what it was. I was uh, 39, just turned 39. 
and we were chatting on a Saturday, talking about football. His son played football and what have you, a good football player. And I said, yeah, I just turned 39. He said, no, you're old. He says, you're 40. I'm like, no, I'm 39. He goes, no, you're 40. So I'll bet you five bucks. I'm like, no, I'm 39. He goes, no, you're in your 40th year. He was right. <laughs> so those kinds of things, just chatting with major stars and, and seeing the other sides of them, just the real people sides. You know, Rod, you know how it is, like with athletes and what have you. I mean, there's always the, the ding-dongs who are kind of, you know, caught up in themselves and the world revolves around them, which, of course, we get a lot of in, here in Hollywood. And you know how athletes are as well. There's a good portion of athletes that are that way. There's also a major portion as well that are just great human beings. And to get that side of it, you know, to have a beer with Hugh Jackman or, um, you know, things of that, uh, uh, that nature. Paul Walker, he and I having a, you know, a drink in, in, in um, Hawaii talking about things. He taking me scuba diving for the first time. I never been scuba diving. I just come with me. It's okay. We'll get a dive master. I'm like, they put 40 pounds of gear on me. I plummet down. Um, but stuff like that. You know, Jessica Alba sitting there watching me. She's in a bathing suit. Things like that seem to be pretty good. So those are some of the, some of the most memorable moments. I mean, I haven't even touched on all the award shows that we've done, but... Uh, it's a lot of fun. I got, I got, a, I got a book kind of halfway written, so someday it'll all come out. Okay, football now. And I know you watch the Vikings and like the Vikings. You're, you've been a longtime Seahawks fan, but you were in New Orleans for the opener. What are your thoughts on the Vikings? Yeah, I was in New Orleans for the opener with the Saints. And, uh, you know, I mean, what, big news this week, right? Randy Moss coming back. Remember, Brett Favre didn't have kind things to say about Randy as a professional athlete back in the day, so I'll see how that... That will merge there. It'll be interesting for you guys in Minnesota. Some fireworks up there to keep you warm in the winter. But you guys, you know, the defense, I think, what, is fourth in the league. So you got a great defense. Offense, you're 30th in scoring, I think. Um, and your rush, your rush offense is pretty good. I think it's fourth or fifth, what have you. But the pass uh, offense is not so good. So Randy comes in. You know, his, his work ethic has always been questioned uh, to a certain extent by some people. I'm not sure if that's, you know, germane anymore. I did watch the game on, uh, on Monday night. And there was that pass in the end zone I thought he could have, could have caught. I know he was twisting and trying to get his feet in, the, in, in bounds. But uh, it'll be interesting. I think if he and Brett, they're, they're you know, huge professionals. Uh, uh, they can come together. I'm sure they've already made phone calls and talked to each other. And uh, we'll see how that manages to come to fruition for you guys uh, on Sunday. It's, um, I think it's actually kind of exciting. So we'll see. Randy's, he's, look, you have two Hall of Famers in Favre and, and Randy. Uh, and, and I know Randy, you know, from what he said in the press, he wants to continue for another couple of years, two, three years. So it could be good things. And, you know, you guys', you guys pass offense, I mean, come on, all right? You need a little help. So uh, rush is great, but pass offense, so you need some help. So hopefully Randy will help you there. Thanks for taking time with us. Next time you're in Minneapolis, get out of the airport. Let's have dinner. You know, I love Minneapolis. Uh, and so next time I just need to stop and not transfer through the city. I've been there a couple of times, but absolutely, Rod, you can pay for dinner because actually I think you owe me one uh, from like 1997. Not that I'm keeping track. Uh, I'll buy dessert. Uh, and your wife is lovely. Have not met your daughter. Um, I mean, the story of adoption is fantastic. There are many, many kids out there uh, who need to be adopted. My mother uh, was adopted um, when she was young, so I know all about that. And uh, the big thing I want to do is I want to wrestle with your dog. So if that's okay, I'm going to come wrestle with your dog. And then, uh, and then after that, uh, we'll see what happens. All right? Okay, from Tony's side of Hollywood, the reporter who covers actors out there, to Minnesota who covers actors out there, John Hank in the house. And you talked to Josh Duhamel. Thanks for sending me to New York. I really enjoyed it. Yes, I talked to Josh Duhamel. The movie is Life as We Know It. It's in theaters now. It's Josh Duhamel and Katherine Heigl. They play an unmarried couple who winds up the guardians of an orphan baby girl. Now, Josh is the director of sporting events. He has to go to work in this scene, but he needs a nanny. So he asks his cab driver buddy if he would be the nanny. Here's a scene from Life As We Know It. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is Sophie and uh, her nanny, Walter. <laughs> What was it about this movie that caught your attention and you liked and you wanted to do this part? It's almost like an old school uh, romantic comedy where they were based in reality rather than sort of fantastical uh, fluff. And this movie is not that and, and that's what I loved about it. It's like Slumdog Millionaire in there. I can't. She didn't eat enough to produce that. She had like two pieces of macaroni. Okay, 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 okay. Give me the wipes. Give me another one. Hurry up. Come on. Get it out of her toes. But it's like a poop suit. Just. Messer, don't leave me in here. You've done Transformers, this kind of movie. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want to make movies that have something to say. 
uh, and, and mean something. I'm not trying to change the world by any means, but I definitely want to, I want to be part of movies that have, that have something to say and can move people in one way or another. I finally figured out why Peter and Allison picked us, and it's not because we knew them best, it's because you and me together, Sophie, somehow, we're a family. Did I hear them say poop? Poop suit. Poop suit. Yeah, poop suit. Been a while for me. And what about the Twins hat? Is he a Minnesota boy? Well, that's why we went. He, yeah. He's a North Dakota native, but right. loves Minnesota. Building a home in Northern Minnesota. Right. Loves the Twins. Right. Loves the Vikings. And he has to get his L.A. born wife used to Minnesota, and you know who his wife is. Fergie, and you'll yeah, tell black, us more Black about. Eyed Peas Fergie, yeah. Very nice. More next week. Thanks. More next week. It'll be fun. John, thank you. All right. Time now for Who's Hot and Who's Gold, brought to us by Liberty Comfort Systems. And some of you will sneer at the mere mention of this name, but there's more to this than you might remember. Timberwolves, well, this team is on the rebound, and big time. During the preseason, they've had a great start early, and that strong start has a lot to do with guys like Michael Beasley. Luke Ridnauer, Darko in the middle, and Martell Webster. Hot and cold is all about the Wolves. They've been cold for a long time, but no longer. Their growing pains may be working themselves out. They are a team to watch this season. We're just getting closer to the Vikings and Dallas game. Great to have you with us here on Game On. And when we come back, is this a team to be reckoned with? We're going to break down the Minnesota Wild with one of their own as Game On, powered by Acapulco Restaurants, rolls on. Working together means working efficiently. And a Lennox home comfort system may just be the perfect example. Its air conditioner works together with the furnace. And that works together with the air purifier. And that works with you by saving you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Liberty Comfort Systems. Get the latest in innovation and technology at Liberty Comfort Systems. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Walling, Berg, and Deebly believes in families. We understand and support families in all their many forms. And when legal problems arise in the family, Walling, Berg, and Deebly is there. Walling, Berg, and Deebly the premier family law firm of Minnesota. When you need us, call 612-326-3453 or visit wbdlaw.com. So you want to see some Wolves games this year and you want to make sure to see him and him, but you don't really want to see them. Now, who's going with? Flying solo? Nah, it's more fun with the whole pack. And where should we sit? Can we move like that? Sure, with the Flex Pack, and we save. Build your pack, your tickets, your seats, your games. Online at Timberwolves.com slash flex. You start to get in sync, and I believe that we can go tick tack tick tack down the field like we did last year and win games. This is what the Wheels of Thunder week ahead looks like. Vikings are off to Lambeau to tangle with the Packers. Tuesday, the Wolves welcome the Indiana Pacers still in preseason. And then just down the road, the Wild and the rival Canucks are at the X. Brock Lesnar back in the Octagon Saturday at UFC 121. And I'll be at the Boys and Girls Club Halloween Hoedown Saturday the 30th. Love for you to join us. Great charity event. And that's your Wheels of Thunder week ahead. And Aaron was wearing the Twins hat and football and basketball, getting a lot of pub. But just because the snow ain't flying doesn't mean we can't talk hockey. Mike Greenlee in the house with the Wild and former NHL goalie. You know this man knows his Wild. And great to have you with us. When we look at this Wild hockey team, so many publications didn't give them a chance. Uh, but that may not be fair. Well, you know, a lot of, a lot of uh, like prognosticators, yeah. they, they look at what happened the year before right. and they make their decisions based on what you did in the summer. So, I mean, for the most part, they're looking at, the, at a team that yeah. didn't get a good start because they had a new system. Uh, they looked at a team that had a lot of injuries last year. Right. They looked at a team that had a bad road record last year. Well, none of those things are occurring yet this year. We're still pretty healthy. Uh, the team knows the system already because yep. they've had it already for one year. So basing last year, this year off of last year might be a little bit of a mistake. When we talk about players who have really won the fans over, Vikings have Moss, they have Adrian Peterson, the Wild have Cal Clutterbuck. I love the name, but he can play too. Yeah, Cal Clutterbuck, uh, you know, I, 
I, Derek Bugard used to call him a bowling ball because he'd, he'd go around the ice and hit everything yeah. that moves. You know, he, he's built like a fire hydrant. He's a very stocky, very solid, strong guy. Great, great legs, and he's got good speed. He also has some pretty good hands. I mean, people people underestimate his uh, scoring ability as well. And so the Wild have tried him in different spots. Uh, he's seen some of the second line. Yeah. So Cal Clutterbuck will see some playing time in different areas, and he can bring a lot of different elements to the Wild's uh, game. Mike, you watch this team more than almost anybody. Are they better than people give them credit for? I think so, because uh, they're a team that's pretty deep up front. And when I say that, they don't have any prolific scores necessarily, right. the marquee kind of guys, but they have a solid lineup that doesn't have a lot of holes in it. Yeah. And they brought in some free agents that are very responsible in their own end. That was one of the problems last year for the Wild is that they didn't take care of their own end as well as they should have. I think that's going to happen more this year. We talk about Miko Koivu being kind of the go-to guy, the, the former Marion Gabrick, the, the name player now. Yep. Todd Richards, though, the coach, he seems to be settling in a lot more. Am I right? I think so, and that's because Todd Richards now has the comfort level of, of players that are coming back and having played his system. Yes. Last year was about turning the system 180 degrees around, right. and that's not easy for a coach to do in a short span of time. Now he has guys that know what they're expected to do, and he has guys that are playing his system. So hopefully everyone latches on, even the new guys, and I think the comfort level will, will uh, present itself in, in wins this year. Mike Greenlay, thank you for being with us. Looking for big things from the wild. A lot of home games. Go to our website, Game on TV MM, for all the uh, updates right there at your fingertips as well as wild.com. That's it for us. Dallas and the Vikings a little bit later. We'll look forward to seeing you Tuesday at Acapulco. This is Game On powered by Acapulco Restaurants. Have a great Sunday.